Welcome back to Dino Detects. So it's quite windy, you may get a bit of wind, hopefully the mic is sorting that out. If not, uh, and you can't hear me, then uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm on a new field. This field is a new field, it's a new permission. Over the other side is where an, the old Roman road was. It's an old sort of B road now, and it's not used that much because there's a new bigger road. There you go. Moving to the fields. Well, here's the next signal. I'm not sure how long this is going to last, the GoPro, but you can just see in there. It's a little, it's a little, oh my gosh. That's a beautiful, tiny two-piece buckle. That is amazing. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to go to the other camera anyway, because uh, the GoPro's, I don't know, on its way out. But yeah, that is very nice. One second. Um, yeah, I think it's back to the phone for a while because there's something wrong with my GoPro battery. Uh, anyway, yeah, just letting you know that bit of information for you there. Right, let's have a look at this little buckle, shall we? Well, that's absolutely super. It's really small. Um, and I don't really want to clean it up too much. That looks, uh, that's so nice. Hold on a minute. Let's, uh, let's get you in there. Look at that. It's definitely a two-piece. Anyway, um, we'll see you that in the kitchen, I guess. So, yeah, um, first time I've said this, I think, because of all the camera issues, but uh, moving on. Well, the next signal out of that hole there, there's around about there, is this little fella. And it looks, oh, sorry, it's a bit dark. Looks like a little button. Uh, pretty mashed up, to be fair. But there is one. A bouton. Interesting design, isn't it? Nice swirly pattern. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that's the next signal out of that hole. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to uh, camera because the GoPro is playing up no end. So I've got it strapped to my chest for no reason at all. Fun times. Anyway, I'm halfway along this hedge. Um, I don't know much, but I'm get, I getting used getting used to the XP Deus again. Back in the Deus. I'm using the hammy mode. Just thought I'd give it a go. Seems uh, seems cool. Let's get a hammered. Yay! Or let's get anything really. Anything interesting in this field will be good because it's brand new. Um, I don't. I can't say that nobody's detected this, but finding that uh, finding these things as shallow as they are, um, the last couple of things, yeah, it could mean that it hasn't been detected before. I'm not going to say that because I don't know really. It's a nice field. Right next to the old Roman road, which is only a little B road now, etc. I've said that before, but there you go. So uh, yeah, moving on. Okay, right here we have lovely 86, nice straight line. Let's see where that is, shall we? Okay, it's in here somewhere. Whoa, look at that. Now, sorry about that. That looks like a nice coin, doesn't it? Oh, yes. There it is, getting in the sun. Oh, it's got a bit of bronze rot, I think. So this is probably Vicky. Hate me. Can I imagine what we see in there? Give me one sec and I'll clean it up for you. Oh, yes. First coin of the day. Yeah, there she is, look. Sadly. Um, riddle with bronze rot 1867 that means it would be a Victoria um, probably Bunhead but you can't see look can you ah oh, what a shame oh never mind well it's a coin ooh it's a coin not a great one but there you go uh, yes um, I'm getting bombarded by them little black flies again uh, they are dive bombing my eyes and keeping my glasses on to protect them. It's like sort of a shield. Anyway, moving on. Next signal, which was a beautiful 82. Clear as day, straight line is a lovely 
musket ball a nice civil war era musket ball there you go oh that's a crack oh oh no i've dropped it oh straight back in this one just cleaned it up there we go one lovely in the sunshine again civil war era uh musket ball it's um that small one i would say yeah not brown best but there you go woohoo definitely uh well the edge of this field hasn't been detected anyway that's a musket ball also um i would say maybe it's about three four inch deep mm, pretty good so uh yeah this this has probably been plowed at one point i'll have a look on the old maps i didn't i didn't get a chance today because what i did was on the way to the fields i gave the farmer a shout and i said uh oh any chance of a different field today and she said yeah try them fields so i have and i'm in here and i've got a musket ball woohoo anyway moving on <laughs> Now, I know I've said this before, but although they are common, I find musket balls to be irresistible nuggets of history. Albeit toxic history and all lead items in your collection should be stored safely and responsibly and out of the reach of children. Okay, in there is a nice 82. Let's break it open. Oh, so you can see me. Oh, what's that? What's that? I wonder. I think that is oh, another cracking musket ball. Oh, I find these all day. What a beauty. Woohoo! One musket ball. Anyway, moving on. All right, I think there's another 82 here, which. Oh, I think there it is. Pretty sure there is. Shut up, shut up. Sorry about that everyone. There it is. Oh, it pops. Oh. Another little musket ball. Whoa, somebody was sat at the top of this field considering uh, their options with a musket. Probably uh, in the 17th century, I'd imagine, 1640 three-ish <laughs> four maybe who knows but there you go another lovely musket ball moving on well here's the next signal it was a beautiful 60 i think that's it i'm not sure oh sorry i think that's it i'm not sure um but i want us to get this out together let me just zoom in could be just a bit of rubbish uh, i think it is Oh no, I think it might be. Do you know what? I think that, oh, I think that might be a bag seal. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, it is. That's a bag seal. Oh, oh. there you go. A wing uh, or something. That is the first bag seal I've had out of this field. Well, to be fair, everything I'm finding is the first out of this field because I've never detected it before. There's some beautiful uh, detail in there. Ooh. Anyway, yeah. Ooh. That's nice. One bag seal. Um, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you. Well, it doesn't get more clean up than that, but I'll show you in the kitchen. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> took a uh, toilet break as it were in the old hedge not not that one. Oh, no, that one actually yeah yeah i'm, I'm backwards uh yeah i'm gonna uh wander down that or i might go across the field i'm not quite sure yet uh but this is very promising uh for the things i've found in this field yeah man yeah it's be good and um i actually got three fresh fields one's got sheep in it so i'm leaving that for now uh, one's got a big hill in it that they built up so there'll be nothing on that hill but where they didn't build up, there's bits of the field they didn't. Anyway, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, hope you're all doing well. How are you, how are you all? How are you, uh, how are you, Martin? Divvy? Um, all right. How are you, Bill? Julie? Anybody? Is everybody all right? <laughs> Just checking to make sure you're all right. Uh, yes. Um, ooh, 
bit of a bit of a health check over the pond really i suppose hope you're well cynthia over there hello cynthia always comments on my video um a bit further down uh, in the southern hemisphere um hope you're all right andy the uh, coffee boys kid and jim big jim um yeah melbourne MD gym man type stuff. Uh, yeah, hope you're, yeah, and everybody else, hope you're all well. Just thought I'd have a babble while I have five minutes and uh, and start. I think I will work my way around this hedge, actually. I should get to the gate, which takes me back. Mm. I'm a bit disappointed in my GoPro, though. But what can you do? Moving on. Nice little target on the way to the other hedge. It's uh, a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, hunting rifle, probably. Yeah, have some of that. Let's uh, see if you can read that. Of course you can. Look at that. Yeah, twenty-two two fifty Remington. Mm, interesting. Anyway, moving on. Well, I think my uh, GoPro has charged a bit better now. Out of that hole came. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. Let's get it on the GoPro as well. That twenty-two two fifty cartridge as you can see as oh now i've dropped it i just met a guy called scott from manchester who is a um magnet fisher he's uh he's not very well at the minute suffering from um uh, bell's palsy but he's recovering very nice chap and um we're gonna uh, we're gonna exchange subscriptions <laughs> type thing if you know what i mean yeah um right let's get this all tidied up and move along down to the um to the other end um moving on Oh, it's a beautiful day. Absolutely stunning day. I'm not going to show you the sun, it'll blind you. But look at this, hey? Uh, that. You know what that is, don't you? Yes. Do you know what it looked like when I pulled it out of the hole and I wasn't filming because the GoPro's playing up? Oh, <laughs> just a bit of aluminium, not a hammered coin. I did once find a hammered coin that I thought was one of these and I just straightened it out like that and then went, ah, it's hammered. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, that's my Commonwealth one. Anyway, there you go. One of them. Moving on. Okay, and there, there's a nice 82. Ooh. And there, there it is. Another beautiful musket ball. Woohoo! Excellent. Another musket ball. There you go. To add to the others. What a collection I've got today. Anyway, yeah, moving on. Well, I think this field's just got a bit interesting. Look at that. What do we think that is? I think that's uh, one of those, oh, what do they call them? Circular brooch things. Um, I'm just not too sure. Oh, I've just dropped my glove in the hole. There you go, look. What do you think? I think, although I do a bit more research, I think that's Roman. Anyway, I'll leave this speculation for the kitchen, shall I? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty good though, isn't it? Mm, interesting. Uh, moving on. Well, look at that sky. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, next signal was, uh, was quite deep. In fact, it was that deep and it was iron. Because uh, the, the old banana is going wee wee wee. I thought, no, you go for it because it could be, and it was a lovely ox shoe. Woohoo! Bacon rasher, whatever let's call it. That's not a bad one. It's not got a curl point on it, but uh, hey, that's good, isn't it? That's good. And that little bit of. Uh, I found that interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's a. Where's it a tesserai? Because it's got a sharp corner. Maybe he's, well, I don't know, maybe it could be a Roman tile, I'm keeping it anyway. Um, but yeah, hey, I do like a nice ox shoe. Uh, and there it is, that's uh, obviously, because ox are cloven, they don't have the round ones, they have these ones. One on each, one on there, one on the other side. Eight in total, clippity clop, all that stuff, ploughing up the land and things. So yeah, this was ploughed by, uh, by, by bovine type animals at one point in time. Woohoo! Anyway, yeah, moving on! Well, here's the next signal coming at you from the field. And there it is. It's a big old, and I'm talking a big old dandy button. Look at the size of that. Woohoo! That is a cracker. Good grief. Uh, yeah, no shank, sadly, but uh, I don't care. That's the, uh, that's a good big, that was a cracking signal, that was. 
uh, yeah, 60, 67, 69 on the old um, in hammy mode. Uh, na, na, one button, there you go. Um, one button, moving on. Come buttons. Button. Could be good buttons. Here's the next signal. Bit of a weird one, looks like a tiny hand. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll check the old, see if there's anything else in there. That's weird. But uh, yeah, look. It's like a tiny hand. Ooh, could be a, I don't know, the end of a probe or something. I don't know. Weird. Or, I don't know. Or maybe it's a gun. Oh, it looks like a, yeah, it's a, it's a caterpillar assassination gun. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, we'll see in the kitchen. Moving on. Right, I think I'll do for today. Yes, um, I think I've scoped this field satisfactorily and I reckon it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with this field. I've got another two, as I say, uh, to go with it. One of which has been raised um, uh, recently with soil, so there'll be not much in that, but these two are good. Right next to Roman Road, pretty good. Happy with that, so yeah. Um, apologies for the GoPro stroke phone mess around. Uh, hopefully I can get this into some form of sensible order so you can watch a decent video I don't know but um yeah thanks for uh, thanks for joining me on this one look forward to your comments don't forget to fill in your rolls wear gloves and do all the good stuff and uh, yeah don't forget your time travelers carry on mate got to keep searching <laughs> to know why we do it no i do I thought you probably would time travel go on Metal detecting is the closest you'll get to time travel. See, archaeologists, they gather up the facts, piece the jigsaw together, work out how we lived and find the buildings we lived in. But what we do is... That's different. We unearth the scattered memories, mind for stories, fill in the personality. Detectorists. We're time travelers. Yeah, all right. I'll give you that one. Anyway, uh, and I'll catch you in the kitchen. So, yeah, move to the kitchen. Hello, and welcome to the kitchen roundup. Right, um, yeah, that feel was pretty good. Um, I'm, uh, I'm more than happy with that. It's, uh, yeah, it's very promising. Uh, not a great deal of amazing things, but um, yeah, a few nice things came up. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, there it is. That is what I got for a couple of hours on a new permission. Pretty promising, I think. Um, I only did an edge of the field and just into the middle. So uh, yeah, let's have a look what we got. Go across the top. There's this um, relatively modern, um, round, as you can see, uh, Hobarty 22250 Remington. Um, Hobarty is the, the company. Uh, it's a Remington round, 2-2. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're an American company. Believe it or not, the round was a, a super performance, poly, polymer tipped, fun times. Um, next thing is this, which I thought, oh, that could be Roman brooch. Cleaned it up, and uh, after asking a few folk, uh, it's probably the back end of a drawer handle. <laughs> so never mind. Got all excited. Uh, a little, there's a little swirly button, smashed up. But there you go. Buttons are buttons, aren't they? Hey. Button. As we know, um, I do like these two. Um, I only showed finding one of them, but you can see how they would have been fitted to a cloven hoofed bovine type animal yeah so that's that um little tiny hand i have no idea what that is just a, a little tiny cartoon hand i guess um no no idea four musket balls those musket balls because the size they're uh, 0.59 caliber they'd have probably been from um, a mid 1800s uh short barrel carbine rifle so later not as i said civil war era they're too small uh, that one slightly older, but uh, they're still not that old. Musket balls. Uh, then we have this lovely little buckle, which um, uh, is it's a brass buckle, brass two-piece with an iron rod, uh, uh, iron sort of um, thing through the middle, uh, and it was silver wash. So that's really nice. I like that. Nice little buckle. 
haven't been able to find out anything else about uh, or anything at all about this uh, bag seal it's not very old uh, as you can see it's got a, a wing so if you hear anything about them about bag seals give us a shout um, a ginormous um, pewter or uh, tomback dandy type button button that's a big one that one that would have shone bright in the old uh, in the olden days and um, and the only coin of the hunt is this 1862 um, Queen Victoria Penny. I, thought, I think I said it was 1867 halfpenny, but it's a yeah. As you can see, oh, you can just see her there, Bunhead. It's a um, young laureate bust. Uh, and in 1862, that was the year of the um, of the London Great Exhibition. Yeah, here's some uh, here's some pictures of that. Amazing. Look at uh, there. They go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I spent that an amazing time back in the eighteen sixty twos. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, so there it is. That is, uh, let's call it a recce on a new permission, shall we? Uh, that's what I found. Oh, um, do you want to see the scrap? That's the scrap. Yeah, those uh, tart rings were beautiful. Beautiful signal. Anyway. Yeah, so uh, thanks for joining me on this one. Really appreciate you watching my videos. It's very, very much appreciated. I've used appreciate it twice. Uh, yeah, and good luck and happy hunting to you all. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.